Hello, this is Eli J. Brown slash Eli J. Brony here with a custom combination model between Chi Cragger from the 2013 Legends of Chima Ultra Build series and Ogrim from LEGO Hero Factory. Now, I decided that I wanted to create a combination model between two characters, one from the uh, Hero Factory series and one from the Legends of Chima series, so I decided I could give a go at doing one between Cracker and Ogrim, and this is what I came up with. Well, it's supposed to be a large, a larger version of Cracker, and what I did was kind of make him a little bigger than he was before and also give him some more bulk as well as a longer tail right here so what are the exact things that I did well people are probably going to say well it's pretty obvious that you gave Cracker, Ogrim's legs and arms. And indeed, I did. I did give Cracker Ogrim's legs and Ogrim's arms, but I'm pretty happy with what came out from it. But I will say that the um the extender pieces up here, those were from Cracker. So that that's how it goes right there. So I really do not know exactly what could have become of Cragger if he became in this state. Like, maybe, perhaps, he was going through the jungle and... Well, for some reason, when he powered up, when he used Chi to power up, because he was in the jungle, he ended up coming out like this. So, he's got these, uh, vines on, on his, uh, wrists, though there's only one over here because there were only three in total with Ogrim, though all of them were originally all over here. And with, um, some of Ogrim's pieces, I made this staff a bit longer. I also decided to add the ball chain, uh, to the little chain part here and you may also notice that uh, the main body piece from Ogrim is used for this part up here okay so now that I've um, gotten that out of the way I would like to say that with the staff it was kind of difficult it's really hard to do some poses because well y you really can't turn the arms up like that because well there's just a lot of limitation especially with the uh, these pieces right here that don't get much room for the hands speaking of the hands you may notice that they were the only olive colored pieces that were used on on this construction actually there's also this part the lower jaw right there I didn't use any of the skeletal pieces that were in that color from Chi Cragger at all. So those are pretty much the only pieces that were used there. Now there were quite a plenty number of leftover pieces. The pieces that were left over from Cragger after doing this would be his feet and as I mentioned these olive green skeletal pieces. And also this main body piece that was originally up here, along with the spike that was on it. So those are the pieces that were left over from Cragger. Now with Ogrim, it's just Ogrim with a body, no main body piece right here, no arms, no legs, just a head. I did think about making a little, um little extra creature made out of the leftover parts, but I dis I did try that. It didn't look very good. 
so, pretty much, that's how it went right there. I do kind of wish that LEGO would actually make official, um, official models to make out of the leftover parts from combining two characters together. Now, what I did actually want to do was to take the body piece from Ogrem and put it on the back of Cragger, but I unfortunately did not have any pieces that existed with either of these sets to connect those together. Uh, of course, I did put some of those connector pieces inside the uh, ball and the ball piece right here with Ogrem. I don't know if I've shown that already. But, there they are. But I did not want to use those because those were just added into the ball to create some noise. And I really wanted this combiner to only use pieces that were officially used in the set, not using any extra pieces that came from somewhere else. So, that pretty much wraps it up with this mock right here. I'm going to be um, changing this guy back into Cragger and Ogrum, the regular ones, as soon as I'm done filming this video. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any good ideas on combiners that I could do later, feel free to leave a comment. And be sure to look out, because I will as soon as I can, and as soon as they are released anyway, do reviews on the Hero Factory Invasion from Below Wave 2 set. Now, here's a question that some of you may have. Am I going to do reviews on the um, 2014 uh, Legends of Chima construction figures? Well, it all depends. Some people are saying that they're not going to be released in North America at all, so unless that is a lie, then I'm not going to be doing the reviews on the um, 2014 construction figures. So, cross your fingers if hoping that that's just a lie or a rumor if you want to see me do reviews on them, but it probably is actually true. But even, even so, I probably don't know if I would even have the money to buy those sets. Um, Anyway, but, but you never know what, what I'll do. So, I think I'm just going to close it here. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again next time.